In the end, it's about connecting users and devices to applications anywhere your business takes you. And we need to find ways to make that communication simpler, smarter, and more secure, no matter where your users, devices, branches, or even data centers may be. This is why it is crucial to have all these multi-cloud networking domains, campus, one, and data centers, not only centralizing operations and making the most out of automation through a software-defined approach with the likes of DNA Center, vManage, and ACI respectively, but also to consistently secure access from those users and devices to their corresponding business applications. In our example, it's another day at the office and we have a brand new payroll application which is running on top of an ACI network in the data center. Our CIO asks us to provide access to auditors, the accounting department, and the payroll clerks only, since this is a critical application. They may be connecting wired, wireless, or even from different locations and branches, so it is important to secure all those potential points consistently. Our campus network is currently being managed and provisioned by DNA Center, which is integrated to ACI. So, we simply go there and select all three groups that need access on the campus side, and then select the ACI payroll EPG that was imported to DNA Center as well. We will want to allow all IP communication, therefore we'll just assign a contract with this rule, and we're done. All three groups now have IP connectivity with a single click to the payroll application. However, users may access the payroll app remotely over the wand. In our case, we're using Cisco SD1 implementation. Therefore, traffic will be automatically encapsulated when traveling from the campus using VXLAN to the one using the right VPN tunnel and all the way to the data center using VXLAN again. If we zoom into ACI within the data center, we also want to make sure that the payrolls app traffic gets prioritized over other types of traffic. Since we want to provide the best possible experience for the users accessing it, since we want to make sure we receive our paychecks in time, right? Therefore, within ACI and as part of its integration with SD1, I can simply create an SLA contract specifying the acceptable levels of performance, and this will simultaneously create the same SLA settings and prioritization at the one level on vManage within the SD1 environment itself. That way, SLA will always be enforced, meeting our performance guidelines, and also, no matter where the users may be working from, we will always provide a consistently secure and reliable experience all the way to the data center, wherever this may be. Now, if we add Duo to provide an extra layer of security, not only do we get consistent policy and end-to-end -end encryption, but we now also have multi-factor authentication for our users and even for our software-defined networking consoles like APIC. Our paychecks made it right on time, and we dramatically reduce risk by enabling zero trust anywhere.